Hey guys, we're back with some basketball content. We're going to get right into it. We're going to take a look at an eliminated team from NBA contention, the Los Angeles Clippers, because after their game six loss, Reggie Jackson comes out, gave a heartfelt message. He thanked the boys. He said, hey guys, you saved my career. I thank you guys for this. We don't know if he's going to be back as a Clipper or not. And that's what we want to talk about because we agree that Reggie Jackson very much looked like the player he used to be. He'll probably get decent minutes next year. We just don't know what team that's going to be for. And we look back at Reggie Jackson's career, and we oftentimes people think of him in Detroit. That's where he spent the big majority of his career before he came to LA. And he was the second best player on the team, the third best player whenever whenever they still had Drummond. Let's say second or third best player, top three player. And if you want to win in the NBA, your top three player can't be Reggie Jackson. It's just, he, he put, they put too much on him at the time. And he performed. He had 15 to 18 points per game. He played okay. He was okay on defense, I guess. Maybe a little bit subpar. But he was able to put the bucket in the net. And that's what counted. But then you see co comments of Reggie Jackson saying, the Clippers saved me. And his points per game are the lowest of his career. But he was, like, if you're watching the, the, the game, Reggie Jackson was playing the best basketball of his career, especially during these playoffs. He was on he was on the ball on defense every single play. He was going at it. He was hard in the hard in the paint and wondering he needed to be. He was the guy that could, I was coming in as the third string point guard. A lot of people had him under Beverly, had him under Rondo. Not only did he outperform both those guys, both those guys sat on the bench the majority of these playoffs, and Reggie Jackson was out there. That goes to show a lot. With that being said, both those guys are signed. Uh, for a combined about $22 million next year, and you have all this money already spread around amongst the team, it's hard to keep Reggie Jackson because he'd be signed for a minimum contract. Minimum. He did not play to the level of a minimum player. He played to the level of a starter on a playoff team. And it's easy to see that someone else is going to offer him more money and the Clippers can't afford it. Yeah, I mean, for 20 points per game in, the, in that last playoff series, when ultimately they needed him most, like, that's what Magic Johnson spoke about Dennis Schroeder, not having, quote, that Laker spirit. What he means by that is you don't have the winning ability to when we need you to take over, you could do that. And Reggie Jackson, combined with Paul George, they might not have win, but he showed up and he did all he could to try to make them win. And I think the big thing for me with Reggie Jackson this time around was you mentioned Detroit, but I think even further with him where I go to OKC and I think of his yeah. little internal rivalry him and Russell Westbrook had where they weren't playing to win. They were playing to get the starting point guard job over one another. And that's why Reggie Jackson got shipped out to Detroit and he never became the all-star player that Reggie Jackson thought he was. And my worry is if he goes to another team, that ego comes back out and we just see the Reggie Jackson Detroit again, who ends up maybe starting for a team, but that team is not in contention for a playoff spot by any means. I think that's probably more likely to happen, but I think the best scenario for him is to stay in Los Angeles, either as a Clipper or a Laker, I don't care which one, because I think as an overall team, what Reggie Jackson could do is what those two teams need. He could score when you need him to, and that's all those teams need. It's clear that he respects the star players. And you talk about him and Paul, him and Paul George lighting it up during, during the playoff series. Well, it turns out that Paul George was the guy that got Reggie Jackson to come to the Clippers on a minimum contract. Paul George is the reason why he's there with the Clippers. I don't know if Paul George being your friend is a good enough reason to take, to take another minimum contract. Um, that's, that's a big bite. That's a big bullet to bite. But uh, with that being said, I like what you said about him going to the Lakers, though. Because you look at other players that play with the same kind of tenacity as Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, there's not very many. Really, the only other one in the the only other ones in the league are LeBron James. Um, maybe you look at the other stars like Kevin Durant, something like that along those lines. But LeBron James is the guy who most closely resembles Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, just by the way he plays defense, the way he plays on offense, the way he can take over the game. So that's why I don't mind Reggie Jackson going to LA, but. Your point there where you mentioned that if he goes to a subpar team to be a leading player, 
and how that could crumble and ruin his reputation. I'm just picturing uh, say the New York Knicks. I was thinking that too. Funny enough. This year, yeah. And they have enough money to sign him. They can sign him. Is he an, an upgrade over Derrick Rose? I think I they think would keep him. Similar. I think they would keep Derrick Rose and it would be more like replacing Alfred Payton or Frank Inokotina or someone like that. I think that's what they try to do. And there is those minutes to take because those guys really weren't playing this year. They kind of played their way off the roster. Um, so Reggie Jackson could go there. But under the bright lights, and you have Reggie Jackson being your number two, number three guy, it's hard to see if we're going to get Reggie Jackson of Hungary in the Clippers like he was there right now, or if you can get Reggie Jackson from Detroit and that team just going to crumble a little bit because he's going to want to take the ball more. He's going to know he's better than the teammates. He's going to want to take the shots himself. And then it might crumble around him. So I don't, but I'm, outside of that team, I don't know who else has enough money to be able to take him on and where he would actually be that that kind of role. So I think that he'll, he'll stay in one of the LA's, just like you said. I think he's going to take a pay cut to stay there just so that he can keep playing winning playoff basketball. Because I, I would just hate for to see his his image diminish by going to another team just like he was in Detroit and then playing the same kind of way. Yeah, going to Sacramento or like you said, in New York or like New York, I don't mind. Maybe he could just replace a guy like even Reggie Bullock who plays some shooting guard, Austin Rivers, etc. But yeah, like if he's not going to a team that clearly has in place, hey, this is our one, this is our two. On some nights, you could be our three, but only when like we need you to be our three. And it's going to be a tough fit for him. I'd agree. Either way, it was a very, very, very impressive Reggie Jackson's playoff run. He impressed a lot of eyes. I know I was watching him. He was giving it his all, averaging 20 points per game. So hats off to Reggie Jackson. And I really do hope that we, we can see him uh, play to this level again. Hey, I mean, our next video is going to be about a player who we are definitely not impressed with, with the same from the same team. So, yeah. like you said, all kudos to Reggie, Reggie Jackson. Definitely did not expect this coming into the playoffs, and it's the hardest time to perform. He did it, so I ex hope to see good things for him next year too. Well, let us know what you guys think. Where do you think that Reggie Jackson is going to play next year? Do you think it's going to be back in the LAs, or is he going to make a change to become a star player? It's hard to say, but what do you think? Thank you.